Dr. Stephen Sinatra is one of the uh, foremost experts in clinical cardiology. And what really makes Dr. Sinatra unique is that he has an appreciation of uh, not just drug therapies in cardiology or surgical therapy, uh, but also nutraceutical therapy. And uh, beyond that, Dr. Sinatra is really exploring uh, the new frontier of electromedical uh, therapies uh, for cellular repair and regeneration. Dr. Sinatra presented this information at the Orlando uh, A4M, American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine Conference, and uh, his presentation really lays out a roadmap for what is going to be new and innovative uh, for cardiovascular treatment uh, in the near future. I've been practicing cardiology and uh, preventive medicine for now 35 years, and what we really need to do as anti-aging doctors or uh, preventive medicine doctors is really look at the cell. If you can Take that cellular membrane and nurture that membrane, because the sine qua non of aging is disruption of the cellular membrane, disruption of the membrane. But if you can take that membrane and nurture it where nutrients can come in and especially expel waste products out. So, you know, it's almost like a school of fish. You know, you've, you've seen a school of fish, you know, have this pulsatile activity. So if you can nurture the cell with whatever it is, whether it's... Um, uh, pharmaceuticals don't do it much because pharmaceuticals block reactions. Uh, uh, I'm in favor of uh, driving metabolic reactions in the preferential direction that nurtures the cell. But if you can use electroceuticals like magnetic therapy, laser therapy, far infrared therapies, water therapies, um, uh, electrical pulse magnetic therapies, uh, like you heard yesterday, uh, all these different types of therapies will nurture the cellular membrane and uh, help uh, delay the aging process. Uh, one of the reasons why I've been using CoQ10 for, year, for over 20 years now is because one of the best nutraceuticals in preserving the cellular membrane is, is coenzyme Q10, and it does it because of ATP turnover. Now, if, if, we, if we look at the biochemistry of nutrient depletion, certainly there's two groups of populations that have the most nutrient depletion. One is the population taking pharmaceutical drugs. Pharmaceutical drugs deplete nutrients. Uh, right across the board. I mean, take the common one, aspirin, depletes folic acid. Uh, even a, a more common one, birth control pills, will deplete B vitamins across the board, especially B6 and B12. Uh, take the statin drugs, uh, will literally kill the pathway for squalene and coenzyme Q10. So you get enormous CoQ10 depletion when using statins. One of the reasons why properly prescribed pharmaceutical drugs uh, is actually the fourth leading cause of death in America today is because pharmaceutical drugs, not only do they cause nutrient depletion, like I talked about before, but they're potent mitochondrial toxins. Uh, potent mitochondrial toxins. And whenever you uh, destroy mitochondria, you're destroying the, the life of your cell, so to speak. And when it comes to the heart, a third, actually 35% of the weight of the heart, you know, the heart, the size of your fist, are mitochondria. And if you look at a heart cell, there's 5,000 mitochondria per cell, as opposed to a bipsess cell, there's maybe 200 mitochondria per cell. So basically what we need to do is look at ways uh, where we can uh, select non-pharmaceutical ways uh, to really improve uh, the health of the organism, whether we're reducing human suffering or improving quality of life. Now, we can't be stupid here and, uh, you know, not use drugs at all. I mean, in my practice of cardiology, I still have to use nitroglycerin and, and, and uh, furosemide and, and, and other agents. But what I'm doing now is I'm using less and less pharmaceutical drugs to the point where I write very few prescriptions. In an emergency situation, it's different. If you have an acute asthmatic, hey, whatever works, works. You know, you do it. But uh, in managing these people on a chronic uh, uh, basis, uh, I really believe the electroceutical, nutraceutical approach is the way to go. If you're looking for a physician who's expert in the field of anti-aging medicine, then you can find thousands of them all over the world listed at the official website of the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine, which is www.worldhealth.net.